think what makes the junior high years so important is that for possibly the first time in your life, young people really have the chance to decide and ask themselves, who do I want to be? What dream do I have for my life? And you're in charge of making that happen. The different things you put effort into or don't put effort into all form who you'll become as an adult. And this is a really exciting time. This is a great time to allow students to explore STEM as it introduces them to critical thinking, problem solving, and a great sense of academic rigor at a really important time in their academic lives. What's really unique about STEM at Father Michael Troy is that it doesn't operate as a separate class. It operates throughout the whole school. All teachers teach STEM. All students throughout every day are able to experience STEM. It's a big step going from elementary to junior high. And so we work really hard as a community to make sure the kids feel welcome and that their first day is a memorable one for all the right reasons. The grade sevens are friends with grade eights, are friends with grade nines. Part of how that happens is with our ambassador group, grade eight and nine ambassadors. Take a small group of grade sevens and they show them around the school. They introduce them to all the teachers and they tell them, hey, if you need anything, now you know who I am. Like the moment you walk in through any kind of door, you just feel just a good vibe of everyone just having a good time. It's just like its own happiness globe, you know what I mean? There's so much that this school offers in ways of clubs and sports and just opportunities to do different things, see different things. And the more that you do, the more open you are to different changes that may take place for you as an individual. So that could tie into why band is mandatory in grade seven. I'm glad I took band in grade seven because I learned so many new things. I learned scheduling, planning ahead. Trying new things is great because it keeps you open-minded and you might find a new skill that you didn't know you're good at. Anytime you try something new, anytime you push yourself, anytime you expand yourself beyond something that you haven't done before, you're learning and that's an adventure. I'm really excited to offer STEM to our students as it creates new pathways to where they could go in their future. I think if I had this opportunity in junior high, I think I would have a greater appreciation of how to think critically, how to go through the cycle of learning to try again and again and again until I come to a greater understanding of what I'm seeking, what I want to learn. Being on the broadcast team gives me preparation and like holds me accountable. I feel like I just had to step outside my comfort zone, which FMT has really helped me to do. Uh, they gave me opportunities where I can show myself and who I truly am. What would surprise someone about this school is for it being a small school, all the different clubs, activities, sports teams that we do offer to the kids, especially a program like Renaissance. Not many schools offer that. I love Renaissance Rally because it recognizes students who complete their homework. It doesn't mean that their marks have to be amazing. It's just, hey, I work hard, I want to do my work, and then you get recognized for that. I think when we're giving them the recognition that they're not used to, they kind of see school in a different way and that, oh, hey, maybe I can be good at this and if I do better here, then maybe it opens more doors for me later on. STEM is inherently cross-curricular. It allows me to work collaboratively with other teachers as we find ways to work through the curriculum together through math and science and social studies and language arts. It also makes me a better teacher because I look at what I do and I need to find different and better ways to incorporate STEM learning into what we do on a daily basis within the classroom. When my daughter came to the school, I had been teaching here for 17 years already. I really wanted her to come to a school that I personally felt was so great. I've had the opportunity to coach her in both volleyball and basketball. What I love about coaching is you get to build relationships with the kids outside of the classroom and when they see you doing things for them outside of the classroom and working for them, they want to not just to succeed on the court but they want to then succeed in the classroom because they want, they want you to be proud of them. Basketball for me has really given me an opportunity to find a way to push myself, whether it's in basketball or in school or even anywhere. It just creates good habits of knowing when your comfort zone is it's not enough. And we slowly push them beyond their comfort zone little by little to build that confidence. Another way we scaffold and build students' intelligence and autonomy is through the flex session. So students have the chance to choose their own learning, whether it's something really creative, whether it's something mathematical. If they're really passionate about something and they would like to teach the students about it, they can run their own flex session, which is huge for building confidence. I feel like end of grade six, I was 
someone who couldn't really like show myself as a leader. But now I feel like I'm someone who can lead without being afraid. When I started teaching, I was obviously much younger. Um, and how the kids viewed me was important to me. And I, I tried to maybe at times be somebody that I wasn't. But what the kids ultimately want you to be is who you are. And I think the biggest way that I've changed is I'm myself in the classroom. When they see me being myself, I think it empowers them to be themselves. Everyone here is, just trusts everybody so they can, they know that they can tell them anything and they, and they won't put it into the wrong hands of anyone else. I'm just thinking if everyone else can do it, and so can I. Father Troy always used to say, the best is never over, the best is yet to be. The biggest thing I want them to learn from junior high is that quote right there. You got a chance to be whatever you want to be and embrace that opportunity, take that opportunity. Thank you.